What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a photo slideshow with animation inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now let's get started. Now let's head over here to the project panel. You can see I have a folder with seven photos inside of it. Plus I have this song here I want to add for a little background music for the slideshow. So the next thing we need to do is we need to start a sequence inside of the timeline. So now normally you could grab a video and just drag and drop and it would create a sequence around the settings of that video. But because I'm dealing with only photos, photos have a different resolution and a different size. But of course this is gonna be a video and I want the output settings to be video settings. So I'm gonna come down here to the project panel, go to the bottom, to the bottom little tab right here where it says new item. I'm gonna click on that and roll up to where it says sequence. Give that a click. The new sequence menu will pop up here and you can choose from presets if you like. I'm gonna do just standard high definition 1080p with 30 frames per second. I'm gonna click that. So now I've created a sequence with those video settings. And I'm gonna label it slideshow, just to make it easy. Now you'll see here over in the timeline with the slideshow sequence right there. So now I wanna add the photo. So I'm gonna come back here to the project panel. I'm gonna double click in here. So these are the seven photos that I wanna add for my slideshow. Now you'll notice here, they already say that there are four seconds and 23 frames, which is essentially five seconds by default. Now, if you want five seconds, that's fantastic. You can just highlight them all, grab them, drag and drop. And open that up and you're good to go. Each photo is five seconds long. But let's just say you don't want them to be five seconds. Say you want them to be two seconds. You can obviously just grab them, adjust them, adjust the time and the, the duration if you like, but that'll be kind of a pain to do all of them at once. So I'm gonna delete that. Now there's one thing you need to do to change the duration on all of these. So have them all highlighted like this, right mouse click, go to speed and duration, and here where it says duration, you can click on it and just do two seconds if you want, because remember the two zeros are for the frames per second. So now you notice here they all say two seconds. So they're all two seconds long, drag and drop. Now that'll be better for slideshow because it'll be in and out quickly. So you'll see it just jumps to all the different photos. Now, if you want to change that so it's the two seconds by default going forward with every project, because I just changed that for these specific ones. But if you want to change it going forward, head up here to Premiere Pro, go to Preferences, go to General, and then head down here where it says Timeline. You're going to see where it says Still Image Default Duration. There you can change it to two seconds. So now it's a two seconds, now you click OK. And so now going forward, I've said every photo going forward, I want it to be two seconds. So now if I imported these photos again, again, they'd be two seconds automatically. I wouldn't have to change them. So now we have my photos in. They're all two seconds long, each clip. But you'll notice that they're little side black bars because the resolution is a little bit different. So I want to add animation to this. So I'm going to double click on this first one, come over to the effect control, and I'm going to go down to the scale section. So I'm going to go to the very first of the clip, and I'm going to click scale. It's going to create a keyframe. So here, let's just say I want it to open up to right where, right where it's a full frame. And then I'm going to grab this and head down here to the end of the photo. And then go back one frame. And here on the scale, I'm going to add another keyframe. But on this, I want it to be a little bit bigger, just slightly bigger. So it creates a small animation. So then you notice when I go back here, it plays and adds a little movement. So now on the say the next photo, I'm gonna do the same thing similar. I'm gonna go to the very beginning of the clip, go up to the scale, click that, because it's gonna activate the keyframes. So now we have a keyframe here, you can tell. But I'm actually gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna go bigger at the start, and then head to the end of the clip, and then go back one frame, create another keyframe. And on this, I'm gonna drop it down to where it's right in frame. So now I have two different things. So before it was small to large, and then now I'm doing larger to small. And if you don't want any motion, you can also just do a standard, just adjust it to the actual frame itself. And it'll be stagnant. So don't put any keyframes, just adjust it that size. So now you'll have a little zoom in, a little zoom out, and then you can have just a standalone photo if you like. And then if you wanna add transitions to help that, you can come down here in the middle and just do right mouse click and go to apply a default transition. So then it just adds a little transition here. 
obviously shorten that down too to make it a little faster if you like. And you can also highlight all the clips. And if you do Command D, that'll automatically throw the transitions inside all of the clips. So then when you go to play forward, you have the transitions already in there. And then you can grab the music, bring it down here. Starts a little bit slow, so I'm gonna back this up a little bit. And then you come down here. And then you can adjust each individual clip to whatever motion or size that you want to just repeat the same steps that I showed you in the first three. And that's a very simple way to start a slideshow inside of Premiere Pro and give the photos a little bit of animation with the transition. Anyway, I hope that helped. And if it did, please give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And that being said, have a great day. Later.